Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to some Supermarket Simulator. Today I'm going to be going over some mods with you guys for the game that are on Nexus. They will be linked in the description below. And before we get started, I want to say mods are used at your own risk. Always do your research. Check out the endorsements. Listen to what your antivirus software is saying. And just check the discussions on the Nexus page to see what people are saying about the mods. And if it runs well, if anyone's having issues with it and whatnot. Just, you know, back up your game saves just in case if anything does go wrong i would like to say as the as the features get added to the game i will be deleting the mods i just added them in for now because it gets a little bit grindy later in the game and just to make things a little bit easier until the developer gets around to making them the main features but let's jump right into it the first thing you're going to want to download is the toby peppin x melon loader pack for supermarket simulator that is a mouthful this is essentially what you need to get all the mods and to the folder and get them ready, good to go. It is two different types of things. Some of them will use BepinX, some of them will use Melon Loader, and everything is going to be timestamped if you're just wanting to know about a certain mod. And we're going to be going through how to install the mods. So what you want to do, obviously, is just download the mod. And like I said, if you're not sure about it, always read the post and the discussions and see what people are saying about it. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and download it. It's in your download folder. You're going to want to copy all those files right over here. And I hope everything is looking nice and smooth for you guys. And then you're going to want to go to your supermarket simulator page, wherever your supermarket simulator is downloaded. To do this, you can go to wherever it's downloaded. For me, it's in a different tab for my gaming drive, but it's going to be under Steam, Steam Apps, common and then supermarket simulator now I'll say that you want to find it a lot easier you can actually go to steam you can right click on your game in your library you can go to properties and you can go to installed files and you can click browse and it'll bring you straight to that folder as well but you want to take those files you just downloaded and copy them go over to your supermarket simulator and just go ahead and paste them and replace anything in the destination that it pops up that it wants you to overwrite and you should be good to go and have both of those things installed that came with that mod so first we will be going over the beppin mods just to keep everything kind of organized the game mods that use beppin the first mod is actually the run in the background mod this is nice just so you can be able to tab out of the game whenever you want and the game will still run instead of pausing and everything and you'll make progress while if you want to go check discord or go watch something on netflix or look up something on google you know whatever and what you want to do is you basically want to download extract the zip file and you basically want to move this over to the plugin folder on your beppin so once you download it copy it and then once we go over to our game folder you want to click on beppin x and then go to plugins and this is where you paste it mine's actually under here because i believe it was a different file name before so there it is right there but essentially you just want to take that background mod and you just want to copy it into the dll folder and you should be good to go and you should be able to run it in the background next will be a portable scanner this mod is nice because you can actually scan your items and then it gets saved to the computer and you can go ahead and order your items so essentially what it does is you want to open up your market because it won't work unless this is opened up first and say, look, at, we're out of some items. So I'll just click F on this and then we can go over here, click F on this. And then it also uses a middle mouse button if you want to. And then if you order too many, it will give you a different type of tone because it can only order 10 items at a time because that is the default. And then you can go ahead and just purchase those items. And that is how you do it. It also works with the tags out here as well. And then you can actually go ahead and go and change this key, key binding if you would like. So essentially what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your Beppin X folder. You're going to want to go to config and you're going to want to open up your portable scanner configuration. And essentially it's just what you change the key binding if you don't like having an F minus just default so that is perfectly fine and there's the config i use notepad plus so mine will look a little bit different but you can edit it in notepad as as well the next mod over here will be the smart uh, boxes this is so you can just pull out any type of box for any type of products if you don't have the box available and you don't want to order another box of that product to just get that size of box so you want to just do the same thing download it 
put it into your Beppin X plugins folder, the DLL. And right here, as you can see, here is the smart pocket boxes. And what you're going to want to do is you can actually go to config to look at all the uh, controls. So let me go ahead and get that out there real quick. Here is the thing. Uh, I didn't change anything with it. You can put the box with TV, X, uh, mouse one. So I'm going to just going to show you what it basically does. If that's kind of confusing to you. So say I want to get a box for the soda, I can go ahead and right click on it. And now I have an empty box for the soda. So I'll be able to move them as I want to. And then if you don't want the box after you're done placing the products with it, you can just press T and that puts the box away. And that is basically it for that. So this mod also consolidates the boxes as well. It's automatically set to auto, but you can disable it within that config as well. But essentially what it does, as you can see, that moved up to 54 because it put the extra product from this box inside of there. So it can kind of do that and it's kind of on an automatic. And apparently you can press X on it to auto consolidate when products are different sizes or different products in it. I'm not entirely sure I haven't really used it, but that is all for the pocket size boxes. Like I said, main main use for this is just to get those boxes and rearrange and not have to worry about buying a new product just to get an empty box. Next up, we have a better cashier. I do like this one because it just speeds them up a little bit. I left everything as default, but like all the other ones, what you're going to want to do is just bring over the better cashier DL after you extract it and unzip it and just put it into your Bepinex plugins folder. And then you can actually edit this with the config file and if you want you can make things a little bit faster i just left everything as default because it seems to be working fairly fine and let me open up real quick and just show you a couple customers about how fast they work one other thing i forgot to mention is with that config file if you can see at the very bottom right over here you can actually make them scan multiple products together so say if they like want three uh three of the turco sodas it will scan them all at once just to make things easier on the cashier and make them just a little bit faster. So that is something to keep an eye out for as well. The default value for that is false, but you can change it to true if you want them to scan like the same type of product at the same time. And here are a couple orders just to show that they are a little bit faster. It is nice. And then obviously sometimes I do just delete the mod if I wanted to, the data drag on a little bit more. And I'm going to, I was going to go over this at the end of the video as well, but if you ever want to delete a mod, all you got to do is take that DLL file and just basically delete it out of the folder. And then you are good to go and don't have to worry about the mod anymore. But as you can see, it's just nice to have the cashier. It's just a little bit faster. Hopefully in the future, we get some type of upgrades with the cashier. So their speed upgrades with how long they've been working and whatnot, or maybe get promotions which would be very cool. But that is it for the Beppin X mods. And there are a, just like three melon loader mods I will be going over through to you right now. All right, now for the melon loader mods, what you want to do is just go back to your main supermarket thing and get out of the Beppin X. And then you're going to want to head on over to the MLL loader for the melon loader mods right over here. And these ones are actually pretty straightforward. What you're going to do is, anyone you do for this one, you just want to put into the mods folder under MLL loader wow that is also a mouthful but first one we'll be going through is auto price configurator i do like this one because i like to try to set my prices and it gets hard trying to set all the prices when you're later in the store and you get multiple price changes and stuff like that and you're trying to play with prices so this one i use just for simplicity reasons for right now and my guys are starting to run out of stuff which is not good but essentially i can change the prices to like say a multiplier so you can actually change this in the config as well. If you open up the config file and to open up the config file for these ones, you want to go to user data within the ML loader. And here is the configure fi file for price up data. And it sends, oops, I did not show you that user data and then price update for the config file. And then over here is the config file. You can change these additions to true or false you can add a certain amount to the price if you want that i have that at false i'm not using that but i am using the multiplier 1.12 will be 12 percent above the market value and i have this set to false uh, if you have anything else set to true this would be absolutely anyways but this is basically will make it market price market value minus one cent so i don't want to use that i don't want to sell out of all my product but I do have it set to rounding true. I have it rounding down to the nearest five cent value. 
And so say if I wanted to change something like right over here, I'm going to go ahead and change this to like, uh, say 1.16. That would be 16%. And then I just go back into my game. After you do that, you're going to want to save it, which is something I did forget for a second. After you change the values and you go ahead and save it, you're going to want to go and click F5, F6, and you want to click Control R. And as you see, the price changes, and it does that for any new product that you get, any new licenses you unlock, everything will be priced automatically because it also sucks when you're forgetting to set a price for something, especially when you do it during the day and get a new license and you get a new product. So you'll all be making money right away. And it's just a very nice, uh, simplistic, simple mod to have. This next one, I had to wait to start a new day because I could not order any more product, but it is easy delivery, a mod. What easy delivery is, is it basically just automatically stores everything. Like I said, I'm using this until the feature is added into the game. You're going to want to do the same thing. You're going to want to go ahead and take it and put it into your mods folder within that ML loader. And there it is. And then you can go ahead and even edit it with the config we want to go to user data go open melon loader config and then when you are here you can change the key bindings for l what l does is say if i want to go ahead and order something which i have some stuff right here and i have extra of it i can click l on it and it automatically gets put onto the rack when i press l on a box it'll tell you if the rack is full and it can't be placed on the rack and then you can also go ahead and rack free slots. You can change that to true or false. That basically means is if you change it to true, it'll put it on any rack that is available without a price tag. And then you have auto rack, which I have set to true. So say if I want to order some stuff and I'll be using my uh, price scanner to order some stuff. And if I want to order it, just go ahead and press purchase. And then as you can see, this stuff gets automatically placed as long as there is a space available. And if it's not, it will just say that and it will just get put right there. So I have some extra stuff right there. And it's just a nice little mod to have just to make things easier until it is an added feature into the game. And for the last mod that I will be showcasing here today is just a simple, well, they're all pretty simple mods. It's just pause restockers. You take the DLL and you put it inside your mod folder, ML loader, like the last ones, like I've been showing casing. Here's that file again. As you can see, it's right there on the bottom. Uh, pause restockers. And essentially all you want to do is you want to click pause break on your keyboard. It is usually above on the top right next to screen link, print screen, above the home page up. And as soon as the stalker is done with their current task, they'll just go ahead and stand over here until you're ready to have them work again. This is very much in handy if you just want to get your storage completely stocked and then have them start taking things and just so you know where you are and what you need to order without them constantly grabbing stuff. As you can see, my storage is actually pretty empty right now, so it's probably a good idea I did uh, pause them. But once you want them to get back to work, you just click pause break once again, and there they go get back to work and they are done with their, their break. And that is all the mods that I am using currently. There are other mods out there. So you just, like I said, do your research when you go to check them out. I know there's one like cut RDC tweaks where you can modify the speeds of other things, including your stockers and yourself. There's a storage expansion, which I personally wouldn't recommend because if that's added to the game in the future, I could see that being very conflicting and messing things up. And I heard there are some glitches with that one but i they haven't used it for myself so i can't speak for myself there's a snow renamer i'm just leaving my supermarket as a supermarket simulator right now because i know that's going to get added in the future there's various other mods including unrestricted placement which might be nice because you don't so things don't collide with each other or you can probably fit more storage and stuff i'm not using it like i said i showed everything that i am using and there's just quite a few shit ones like there's night shift where you can actually have your stockers work through the night and have everything stocked by morning of what you have in your product. But like I said, be sure to check them out yourself if you want to. If you want to play the game vanilla, that's fine. What I tell people is just play the game how you want to and what makes it enjoyable for you. This that just makes things easier, especially the one where you get auto everything auto stocks for me because I have episodic ataxia and running back and forth and that fast motion really triggers my episodes sometimes. So it just makes things easier until it's added into the game. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it helped you kind of. 
I had everything set up weirdly on my stream deck to get this set up, but hopefully uh, it helped someone out and check out the discord down below in the description. Really trying to push that and like and subscribe if you want to come back for more gameplay content. But until next time, remember to change that world one smile at a time. You never know whose life you can save or change. And as always, I can't wait to see you in that next live stream and or video. Love you guys. Again, thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate you guys more than anything in the world, especially if you made it this far into the video. Up over here, we got your most recommended video just for you. Down over here, make sure you subscribe and come back for more. As always, I can't wait to see you in the next video, and I look forward to reading your comments. Love you guys.